PCP's support operation is an integral component of military operations. It is an organized international assistance initiative to support the maintenance, monitoring and building of peace and the prevention of violent conflict. Peace and security for any nation is a precondition for any meaningful development and the Gambia is not an exception to this fact. The volatile nature of many parts of the world nowadays requires everyone to be a peacemaker. However, issues such as poverty, hunger, inadequate resources, diseases, etc., amongst others, pose great challenges and create fertile ground for conflict. The Gambia, as a member of international and regional bodies, committed and continues to commit Gambia Armed Forces personnel in various peacekeeping operations around the world. We attach great importance to this visit because this is a new dimension we are going to open. First time we are going to have a joint uh, contingent in the peacekeeping mission. So on that context, I personally feel that it's really important and would like to see that this visit becomes absolutely fruitful and we can find out our areas of cooperation. I think it's giving a great opportunity for Gambia to be in the United Nations peacekeeping operation in the bigger platform. And they can directly participate in the peacekeeping operation. If you can see the presence of the soldiers here, it shows you the importance that the Gambia Armed Forces Command attaches to this new relationship with our brothers from the Bangladesh Armed Forces. The Gambia had been present in the peacekeeping mission for some years. Unfortunately, two years ago, we have closed our last mission in the Sudan. So we've been exploring ways of having a collaboration with friendly countries. And uh, thank God that we have our brothers from Bangladesh. This humanitarian endeavor undertaken by Gambia Armed Forces as part of ECOWAS, African Union and United Nations is overwhelming. The Gambia being part of the aforementioned organizations, her contribution of Gambia Armed Forces personnel in various peace missions cannot be overemphasized. The provision of the required logistic support can be a good factor in enhancing the Gambia Armed Forces' participation in any peacekeeping environment. With efforts to rekindle Gambia Armed Forces' participation as a troop contributing country in the United Nations peacekeeping operations since the closure of the United Nations African Mission in Darfur. The Gambia, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and the Gambians Abroad, engaged their Bangladeshi counterparts for a possible co-deployment of the two armed forces to a United Nations mission. Hence the visit of the Bangladeshi Chief of Army Staff, General Sheikh Muhammad Safiuddin Ahmed leading a delegation to the Gambia. On Sunday, 11th June 2023, the general was received with a splendid guard of honor mounted by personnel of one infantry battalion at the Banjul International Airport. He was received by the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Mamat Ocham, and the senior officers of the Gambia Armed Forces. The delegation was on a four day visit to assess the Gambia Armed Forces' logistics, status, and troop readiness for a possible co deployment.
They won was a series of courtesy calls. The general on Monday, 12 June 2023, paid a courtesy call on his host, the chief of defense staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Yakub A. Drame, in his office at the defense headquarters in Banjul. He was received with a splendid quarter guard mounted by personnel of Guards Battalion. This was followed by a closed door meeting and also a brief on the history of the Gambia Armed Forces and its peacekeeping experience. This was followed by a series of similar activities as the general paid courtesy calls on the Honorable Minister of Defense, Sereji Modunjai, and the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and Gambians Abroad, Dr. Mumudu Tangara. General Safio Dean and the delegation were also at the National Assembly, where he met with lawmakers and the chairperson of the National Assembly Select Committee for Defense and Security, Honorable CDSK Njai. The courtesy calls were part of a series of activities earmarked for the general's visit. I am really today present here to make an assessment about the Gambian Armed Forces, how best we can collaborate in our future for deployment in UN peacekeeping operations. So far I have interacted with the leadership of the Defence Forces and the Honourable Defence Minister, Honourable Foreign Minister and you know just we finished with the meeting with the standing committee of the Parliamentary Defence and Security Issues. I am quite uh, happy so far I have seen as the Honourable was mentioning that it will help only in our capability building and every time we share each other's capability learning it only helps and uh, peacekeeping operation is an area where you need interdependency and nothing could be better than having interdependency on an issue where you are contributing for global peace and stability. So we are looking forward and so far I am very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Later in the afternoon, the Honoured General and his delegation were treated to a lunch and dinner by their host, Chief of Defence Staff Drame, at the Bakadaji and Tamala Hotel, respectively. In a similar but separate engagement, General Safiud Dean and his technical team were on Tuesday, 13th June 2023, at the Gambia Armed Forces Training School for inspection of personnel and equipment earmarked for deployment to a peacekeeping mission. This was in line with agreements made for the Bangladesh Armed Forces to send a delegation to the Gambia in order to assess the Gambia Armed Forces' readiness for a possible co-deployment into a peacekeeping mission with the Bangladesh Armed Forces. You've been in missions in the past, in the, under the auspices of ECOWAS or the United Nations. But this time around, it's going to be a unique partnership. Unique in the context, it's a history in the making. What do I mean by that? Even though we've served in many missions in the past, I want to say, or let's set me right, this is the force of its kind for two different identities, two armed forces to march, to constitute and formulate what I call 
a Kodi plant. That's unique in the history of the United Nations. And even unique in the history of ECOWAS, and of course, by extension, the African Union. Well, thank you very much, General. I would like to fully employ you. I'm very impressed with the briefing you made this morning. It has, a, it has given me a clear insight. And I'm looking forward to see things physically, as you have said, which will be displayed. And uh, I'm quite sanguine that as my staffs, they spend the day here, we we'll have some more insight. And we'll, we'll be more interested about the areas where we need to work together to make a congruency to perform as a team. Thank you very much. Thank you. You broke them, you have the reality in yourself what is needed. Alright? Wow. Oh, very impressive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it from, do you have the uh, flag, flag jacket for this human? Furthermore, on the margins of the aforementioned activities, tripartite technical meetings between Bangladesh, United Nations, and the Gambia were held. The meetings were focused on working with set modalities for a core deployment to a United Nations peacekeeping mission.
wonderful songs by our host this evening. Dunia jiki la kira jiki kende jiki ndao te bamba na sote yiren ndao te lola darame kanji. Bongo la jiko be soja rolo le kamu. Kadung hani semua yang sudah sojar oleh kata lori, kan dua betul dia sojar oleh lori. Kita ni ke sojar ke aman dia. Kau tu ke ada busur ni ada, tu ke ada kau lima. Kau tu fana ke ada kau lima, tu ke ada murni. Kau tu fana ke ada murni, tu ke ada kau ni ke sojar. The culmination point of the visit was a courtesy call on His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, at the State House in Banjul. Reporting for GAV PRD, I am Corporal Sanyang Matar.